win. This is George here doing some commentary for a uh, match against Salted Bread and RJ. I am suddenly very, suddenly coming in. Uh, don't know what's going on. Looks like the score is three to one. That's just because RJ is by definition better than Salted Bread. I will always insult Salted Bread whenever I get the chance to. Um, but it looks like both of them are at the middle of the boards. RJ is doing what he can to get down. Salted Bread is trying to look for opportunities to attack, but he's not getting the right pieces exactly. So it'll it'll be a while before one of them wins, in my opinion, unless we get a sudden spike, you know? So, yeah, Salted Bread, he's just trying to get down right now. RJ, he's, uh, he's looking for something, but we're not so sure we can, we can do. God, I was just playing uh, Tetris Effect earlier, and like the garbage in that game makes so much more sense compared to this game. Like, oh my god, the garbage that these guys are getting in this game. It is so random. It's so it's so jarring going from like one game to another. It is it is wild. Salted Bread, he is he is finding some good opportunities to attack RJ. He did not count to four right there, but I don't know if he wanted to. It's hard to tell what is going through Salted Bread's mind. He's a very complex individual. RJ is just doing some down stacking right now, looking for any opportunities. Okay, he did not go for any T-spins. He didn't have the opportunity to do so because Salted Bread got him. Score is three to two right now. RJ going for a, I wanna say that's a sailboat, but I feel like I'm wrong. Salted Bread just did a good old TKI. You cannot uh, go against the bread and butter, you know. He has some pretty good follow-ups, uh, RJ. He is doing what he was programmed to do, which is win Salted Bread. Sending a good amount of garbage to him. RJ opting for the four wide, not continuing the combo though. That was very interesting. He did, did like a two combo. I'm very surprised that got him like near at the top of the board. I'm not exactly sure why RJ thought that was the right decision to make. It's potentially what happened is that RJ wanted to go for it, but did not want to commit to it dis considering the pieces that he was getting. Uh, Salted Bread really took an opportunity to like, you know, go pretty far down on his board then. That was a good opportunity for Salted Bread to use. RJ is doing the good old 6-3 stacking. Very useful in this game. Salted Bread down stacking. He got a little bit of a combo going on. Now he has no garbage on his board. RJ is at the middle of his board. 
and both players are just trying to find opportunities depending on the pieces that they're given. RJ is hesitating a little bit. He's not exactly sure what he wants to do here. I'm surprised. I feel like Salted Bread can easily take advantage of this if he wanted to, and he's trying to, but, you know, he's still not sure. It seems like Salted Bread is honestly just running off of a program. He is just doing what he knows best. Yeah, RJ is definitely analyzing the situation at the moment. Salted Bread, oof, taking another game off him. The game is tied. The game is tied. All right, RJ this time going for TKI. Salted Bread just going for straight up 6-3 stacking. Very useful for him. Oh my god, RJ got a perfect clear from TKI. Very rare to see for a TKI opening, but it is possible. In fact, just earlier today, I managed to uh, lose a game from Baseball Boy just because of that. Oh my god, Salted Bread taking another game off of RJ, despite RJ sending a perfect clear to him. This is a very interesting match. I'm surprised. What has happened to RJ? No one knows. Only RJ will know. RJ is resulting to the Dark Arts. He is using MS2. Salted Bread is just doing something. RJ was not able to find the PC in there, unfortunately. Salted Bread is just trying to get to the bottom of his board. Both players are at the middle of the board right now, I would say. The score is 3-4. to four. And it's a, it's a pretty interesting match, I would say. These players, you know them. You know them. If you watch these tournaments, you know these guys. They go up against each other on a constant basis. They are trying to read each other. They are trying to know each other. It is, it is a very interesting match. You know, RJ going for the T-spin single. Salted Bread, his board is pretty messy. He messed up a few times. Not exactly a great position to be in. RJ, are you going to take advantage of this? Are you going to do it, RJ? I think he's going to do it. And he did it. The score is 4-4 four to four again. We are tied again. Now, just remember, everybody, the game is going up to 7 points. So, depending on how this goes, we could be here for a while. I don't know if we'll be here as long as we were for NES Tetris. But we will, we will see, you know? God, NES Tetris, that was such a long match, but it was so exciting to watch. That bracket reset, it was, it was insane. Yeah, both players at the middle of their board, both players have a good amount of garbage to go through. Salty is getting a, a little bit higher up on his board. Wow, yeah, Salted is just, he's just doing his thing. Not afraid to cover any garbage, Salted Bread is. And that's all right, you know, sometimes, sometimes we need to cover up our mistakes, like the government. So Salted Bread is trying to find any attacks that he can do right now. RJ is going for a few T-spins. He's definitely, I definitely feel that, like, both players are playing it safe. But Salted Bread is going just a little bit more aggressive. That was an interesting cover-up that he did. Opting into the four wide. Very, very interesting combo. Hey, hey. All right. Salted Bread, he does not look happy despite winning that match. He still has, uh, what is it? Uh, we are at four to five, six, seven. He's got to win two more matches. Can he do it or will he choke? He's doing um, one of the things, one of the openers. Oh my god, Salted Bread picking up the speed, knowing that RJ is up against him. Salted Bread knows what he is up against, and he has to pick up the speed right now. RJ sees what Salted Bread is doing. He sees that Salted Bread is starting to get serious, so he's picking up the pace himself as well. RJ is trying to keep up with Salted Bread. Salted Bread is getting faster. RJ is not so sure what to do. Salted Bread is just going for relentless attacks. He's been single. RJ is trying to downstack at the moment. Salted Bread is downstacking as well. Miss dropping. RJ is taking the advantage. Oh my god, is RJ going to do it? Is RJ going to do it? I don't know. Salted Bread has a chance. Is this it? All right, we are tied once again. What is with this match having such, so many ties? You'd think this was a formal event with how many ties we see. Yeah. I see, uh, I've just been joined by another person and, they, uh, and they're giving me the look of disgust right now as to the pun that I just made. But that's okay since, you know. George is making stuff up as usual. Yeah, of course. I'm spreading misinformation. That's yep. like my thing. 
Alright, RJ going for another T-spin double. Nice. Salted Bread has a lot of garbage, nice but, you know, he's cleaning it up just fine. He has Being no problem. Clean. He knows, like, he has to reach his garbage. Yeah. Nice. Nice, nice. Right. Taking a bit of time. You don't want to do that against RJ, though. Dude, you should All have been right, watching this match earlier. Like, it, it got, like, intense for, like, half a second. And that half a second is all that Salted Bread needed to, like, get a game off of him. We're tied. We're 5-5. Five to five. Can you believe it? Ooh. RJ did a little RJ bit of a miss drop. RJ pretty bad miss drop. Yeah, not great. Oh, it's pretty bad. He might... It will probably kill him if Salted does not mess up. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm pretty sure Salted's got yeah. it. Oh, unless... RJ's doing a good, pretty good job hanging on, got the down stack going, but yeah, that next back-to-back -back will be too much for RJ. Yeah, if there's one Ooh. thing that RJ knows how to do well, it's work off of desperation, but I don't know if he just has the energy today. He might, Has he been like, looking, like, shot? Yeah, he looks a little tired, whereas Salted Bread looks very focused. RJ's kind of just doing whatever, whereas Salted is like, no, nah, he's, he's in it today. I don't know if he's been practicing or what, but... You know, he's he's doing his thing. Yeah, he's looking pretty he's looking very good like right now. Mm hmm RJ is I don't know, it's kinda of weird. He's like look he's like looking slow. It's a bit weird. Yeah, like that's the thing. His attitude is not matching with his uh face. Which yeah. is very interesting. I mean what's his attitude? His I mean I mean, I mean like eh. look at face and look at gameplay. Those things different. <laughs> okay, I see. Yeah, what you guys may not know is that this will be RJ's last Xeno uh, appearance. I know. He has to... Um, he cannot make final Xeno in June because he will be uh, trying to save the world from Hitler on the moon. Yeah. Ooh. But... RJ is sent to losers, yeah. unfortunately. Yeah. But... That's where he's pretty. That's where he's most comfortable, right? Making a nice losers run, getting Honestly, his back. Honestly, yeah. Like, how many of those has he had? <laughs> so many. Too many. Right? So many. It's great. I still. Yeah, my right? favorite one is like when it was like what midnight, and he like reset bracket, <laughs> and John Humpers got like really mad at him for that. I got really mad too. Yeah, that was a good time. Like, I want to go home. Time. <laughs> yeah, I want to go home. <laughs> it's worse when we're like in another state and he does a bracket reset like at MTS. <laughs> Yeah, but at least you don't have to drive. Yeah. Oh, I have offered to drive. I have offered to drive so many times, and you're like, no, no, child. It's okay. Yeah, you're not, like, you're not right. high on the driving driver priority list. That's fine. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. Yep. Yeah. Yep, so.